On today's Therapy Crouch, Ask Is a Thing, we're back in the hot seat answering all your questions. Who has a bigger brain, Peter Crouch or an ostrich? I decide what Abby's spirit animal should be. And me and Pete sit down and devise our next 10-year plan. I'll give you a kiss. Oh, <laughs> you wouldn't want that kiss to go too far, would you? <laughs> well, I'd like to see myself retired, filthy rich, <laughs> with a toy boy. <laughs> nice pint, nice German sausage. Uh-huh. What do you want? Strip club. <laughs> hey guys, we're back for our Thursday Ask Us Anything pod. I really enjoy this. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. And, you know, we get all the questions in and we try and answer as many as we possibly can. And if you want to submit your own question, uh, the links are in our socials and in the description of this episode. Bosh, shabba. <laughs> well done, babe. Well done. Should we get straight into it then? Let's go. All right. Um... It's thought-provoking, this, isn't it? It's Ask Us Anything Lark. Is it? Yeah. What it provokes thought. So I think that's how questions work, isn't it? You get a question, you think about it, <laughs> provokes an answer. <laughs> I was still lying in bed the other day, worrying if I've made the right choice for my liquid hands. Oh, really? Yeah. I was thinking that the other day. I listened back to that and I was thinking, you know, I was just thinking about it was the piss drink combination. That... <laughs> it's like thumb in, little pinky out. Mm. <laughs> Unreal. It's a muscle by which I live my life. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get out more, I think. <laughs> Let's fire in some questions. I'm going to ask you this. Go. Uh, hey, Crouches. I'm thinking uh, of a few ideas for my stag. Uh, do just put forward and leave the rest in the hands of my best man and ushers, etc. I was wondering if you have a few ideas to help regarding places in this country to do an activity in the day and then good venues for a night out and also places abroad for the same sort of things. Okay, stag do. We want fun. We want energy. We want a Give vibe. him somewhere in this country. Well, so we, want, we want something like an activity in the day. Yeah. What about pickleball? Pickleball. The school pickleball. <laughs> pickleball? Why would you? That's surely not. An activity in Pickleball day. for shots. It's got stag written all over it. Well, but like, I think I think Scotland would be a good one. They're always, they love to crack up there. They, they have a good, they always have a good time. I think if you go to somewhere like Glasgow, oh, listen, if your golf is great, you've got places up to Scotland, unreal. Ugh. But you could do like paintball or like pigeon shooting or something, clay pigeon shooting. Obviously. Have you seen that uh, electric football? Like where if like, there's a group of you playing, but you've got like mini electric shocks on you and all that. So <laughs> oh, like you, you could be running for it and then the opposing team just like... I thought you said on your nuts. Sh- no, 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 no. <laughs> that'd be quite yeah, a good Yeah, that'd one. be good. Something, something different like that. I don't know. I just thought, I just think if you're not Scottish... Right? Strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Is there an obsession with strip clubs? I don't know. I've never been to one. It's on my hit list. Have you seen those floating jacuzzis they have in the Thames as well? The boozy ones. Have you seen them? Mm-hmm. They look yeah. good. Hell. What about the bike? In everyone's yeah, the bikes like, as well. You know yeah. the bike? Yeah, you Sweat see, juice. It's only English you see on them. You know when you go like to, you know, Copenhagen or various like cities, you just see fucking some Brits on the, on the booze bike. <laughs> <laughs> just pick it down the road. There is. I can't think of one thing. To do. What did you do when you went to Paris? What was your activity? Well, I, as I said, I wanted to go to a... a strip club. A male strip bar. That would be hilarious. What, That's what you say. You say it all the That's time. That's what men say. Oh, say, oh why do men go to a strip club? Oh, it's because it's so funny. It's not, no one's ever said that. They go there to be perverts. But like, why don't you... But when why, you went... But why don't you admit that? Like, why don't you just go, I want to see loads of big cocks. <laughs> Because I actually don't. I actually genuinely think it would be hilarious. You're a liar. That's the episode title. Like a knob. What about, why don't we team this up with like a, a beer festival? Ooh, yeah. You know, we've... we've Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. That'd be a good one. Oh, yeah. I've always wanted to go to that Oktoberfest. Why don't we? Mm. I want to go to that. Oh, nice yeah. pint, nice German sausage. Uh-huh. What do you want? Pete and the Pedal Aida. Hi. I've been to Munich on a stag do. <laughs> and that, that was an absolute belter, to be fair. And like, they have the big steins and you just, ah, oh, it, it is great. Yeah, I think that would be good. Okay. All right, let's fire on. What? Okay. Uh, oh, that one was from Andy. I didn't realise they had names on them. Uh, Kelsey says this one. Kelsey. 
Hey, Abby and Pete, what has been your favourite holiday destinations together and is there any other places you would like to go? So one of my dream destinations to go to is Sicily. Mm. We've been looking to go there for a couple of years and haven't made it. Um, but we're going there this summer. So I cannot wait to be, you know, totally italian up to the eyeballs. Mm. <laughs> and obviously with my fashion sense, you know. The oh, we'll fit right in. Italian Riviera chic. <laughs> mm. I'll fit right in. I just want to relax. I just want to be explore. with you, to be honest, babe. Honestly, like, just on our own. With, like, we haven't done it for ages, have we? Just to be in you. No. Away somewhere different, hopefully... You know, it'd be beautiful and... Not raining. Not raining. <laughs> we can we can reconnect. Reconnect. We can reconnect. <laughs> <laughs> I am... Um... <laughs> I really... That one's done me. What's your favourite... For the benefit of the people that didn't... <laughs> didn't um, aren't watching, um, I did the circular... Uh, what, the hand... Fingers... Gesture. Together, gesture. And with the index finger... Straight through it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, obviously. Um, uh, what's a favourite holiday you've been on? We've been on some um, incredible holidays. Been, I think the Maldives is always is, is, is belter. Obviously, we just had a bit of a nightmare last time with the rain, but like I loved it there. Uh, favourite city break was Rome, Florence, mm. Venice. I loved Hawaii. I love yeah. South Africa. Absolutely love we? South Africa. St. Bart's was amazing. St. Bart's well. is incredible. I was just like, we're so lucky. Ibiza, we've, even we've like, been able to travel like yeah, yeah, places yeah. like that. Like we have been lucky. Mallorca, like you know, go finding these beautiful coves and the waters, like mm. phenomenal, even, even and like, the food. Ibiza, you know, but like everyone thinks of it as like it's a beautiful island, isn't it? Yeah, it's a party island, but it's, it's so, so many great places to go. Mm. Pompeii. Yeah. Was amazing. That was interesting. I love it. I well, love Naples a factual in general. Was... I love a factual trip. Mm, did you see that new artwork they just found in Pompeii? It's, one no? of, it's the biggest. I think the biggest mosaic or something that's ever been found. <gasps> a million pieces of mosaic in it, and it all like these stunning things in the world. Look really nice. Yeah, was... You sound like you've got a cold. No, you best not have. I don't. You can your germs. <laughs> I would love to see that. What would you like to do? Like, where would you like to go? Obviously, we've got the, the, the Italy trip coming up, but is there one where you just go, oh, we're going to... I'd like to do more exploring. I'd like to do, like, South America, some more... I'd love to go to Arizona. Mm. I want to I wanna do, like, Nashville and that kind of thing. Joshua Tree, right up your alley, you too. Yeah, New Orleans. <laughs> I'd love to go to San Francisco. So many places. Yeah. Even, like, different parts of Portugal. I'd love to go to Lisbon. Yeah. Porto. My dad says it's one of his best cities. Mm. So many places on that we should do more of this. Mm. I like researching it as well. It's good fun. Right. Although you've been quite slack on the last few holidays. I hate getting to a place and not knowing what to do or where to go. Same. Pete normally is spot that, on that with that. That used to be my forte, didn't it? It used to be, my, to be really good at that. I'd actually like to pack up for a year, two years with the kids and just travel the world. Mm. I would love, I think that's so much more educational than sitting, learning out to fucking two out two. <laughs> no, yeah, I think, I think, I think it's, it'd be great for them to do that. Especially with all this AI coming out. Oh, yeah. It's like, is it any need? That AI, but, eh? Like so many jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> like Brexit, eh? Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Get me started. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. Oh, my God. Um, okay. Abby, please can you tell me where your wine glasses and what they're called? Where you got your wine glasses and, where they, and what they're called? I'm obsessed with them. Oh, you and Pete should do an interior design program. Um, I'm pleased that she's thrown me in with that. <laughs> Finally, my eye has been recognised. My glasses are from Rory Design Studio, which is a shop in Portugal, and I actually got them shipped over, and the discontinued, so I literally bought all of them because someone keeps breaking them. Mm. <laughs> but I love them. I is just, that there, was it? Yeah. <laughs> you, when Pete brings all his pissed girlfriends home on a Friday and I give them a glass of wine, and they just don't even catch it. Just drops on the floor. They just don't even grab it. No, they just go. It just goes on the floor. Slow motion, and that there's got no grip because they're so drunk. <laughs> I'm banning that, by the way. You're going to ban one of my favourite pastimes. Yes, 
Oh, he thinks because we live so close to his golf club, he can mm. just bring all his friends home. We're going to town next time then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, did you ever try the delicacy of an oat cake when you played for Stoke? Oh my God. So I think I was pregnant three, two or three times while you were at Stoke. And I used to wait <laughs> by the door for Pete to bring me oat cakes home. He used to bring them fresh every day. Fresh. And I used to put loads of grated cheese in them, roll them up, grill them. What is an oat cake? I've never come across It's like a savoury pancake. Yeah, like a, it's like a, a thing in, in Stoke, yeah. basically. And it's like, yeah, it's almost like a, yeah, like a savoury pancake, like you say, like a, it's an oat cake. Yeah. Uh, but you basically put, put anything in them, but usually like ha, like cheese. You could put cheese and ham and you could put an omelette in them. Bacon, kind of like. Bacon, cream, yeah, cheese. In there, yeah, and r roll them up. Um, Unbelievable. Okay. But Stewie, I've got to give a mention to, to Stewie, right? He used to bring them for me. Top guy at Stoke. Yeah. Like, he'd been around the club for years and years and years. And um, he used to be like, all right, top top man, he mm. me. And then he used to just give me oat cakes like once a week. Oh. And I used to bring them home for Av. Oh, what a G. Gorgeous. Yeah. I could, I would die to eat that now. <laughs> can you get them in Surrey? Um, you can make yeah, them. Yeah, I reckon you can get them. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. It was much more readily available up there. Mm. Because mm. oat cake to me is like something that you'd have like cheese and crackers on, you know? Like, no, it's not like that oaty kind of yeah, savoury hobnob. Yeah, it's like, not like really, that's what I would no, think. No, it's a floppy. floppy. <laughs> a really floppy. <laughs> floppy. It's a floppy little thing, isn't floppy it? Floppy pancake. <laughs> the oat cakes are all right as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, what, listen, you know, one of the best things about being up in Stoke was obviously when he used to bring me those. Mm. I, I used to love them. Good people up there. Mm. Um, okay, would you rather have a full-blown moustache for a year or a permanently hairy legs for 10 years? Oh, I imagine that's to you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you rather have a moustache for five years or permanently hairy legs? But permanently hairy legs for 10 years doesn't... So one year moustache for Abby or permanently hairy legs for 10? Can't for Abby. Go. But but perm it's not permanent then if it's 10 years, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So All right. Well, AI's, AI's got nothing on it. <laughs> well, you can't say permanent, <laughs> permanently for 10 years. That's not permanent. 10 years. Consistently. Yeah. 10 years. Um, I go with the muzzy, I think. <laughs> I actually, when we did the Movember campaign. <laughs> that with a moustache. I thought it, we, we, Mercury. <laughs> we did a, um, a campaign for Movember and Greg Williams, who's one of the most incredible photographers yeah. on earth, shot it. And we both had to don a moustache and I actually suited it. I think I, I remember this, yeah. Yeah, you did actually, yeah. You look like, like uh, I'm just trying to think of a fella with like a nice like, head of hair like you. Like Nicky Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Nicky <laughs> Lawrence Llewellyn oh. and Bowen. I wish I had hair like Robbie either Savage. of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Robbie. I look like Robbie Savage, yeah. He pulled me the other day, Robbie. I think his missus listens to this pod. Okay. He pulled me and said, uh, I've been hearing that you've been calling. <laughs> he was over the moon with it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he was. Voronin. yeah. Andre Voronin. Mm. Used to play for Liverpool. Great head of hair. <laughs> You've all got good heads of hers. Yours is probably the thinnest. Well, mine's the thinnest. What are you talking about? <laughs> so you're going to go with the moustache? I'm going to go with the moustache. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you could choose what animal would you be and what would you choose for each other to be? Mm. Fuck, wait, that's a weird Do you want, Would you want to be a wild animal or a domesticated? Because, you know, the because I always think I'd like to be a cat. Yeah. Because you're fed, you're cuddled, mm. and you're sleeping and cosy all the mm. time. Thing is, if you're a wild animal, it's a jungle out there. Isn't it? <laughs> Just no. And then I'd love to be a horse. I'd love to be a horse, like a free horse, on like, do. you know, running through, you know, the plains in America. I do. I just think, like you say, if you're a wild animal, you you know there is it, there is predators out there, you know, and also if you're the top predator, the foods in it's high demand, isn't it? It's literally life or death if you catch something. Whereas, yeah, maybe like, I'll go as a cat. If you're a cat, yeah, you know, you are. I mean, it's even better than a dog, isn't it? You're just strolling around the house, like, well, doing whatever you what want. What were we talking about? Yeah, like, this is how riveting our conversation is, as per usual. When we took the dog for a walk, we were like, who invented, like, taking dogs for a walk? Like, who came up with, like, 
Yeah. Because you don't you should walk. T- she used to walk themselves. You, shouldn't you don't the walk cats. Yeah. They just love it, don't they? They need a lot less energy, though, I suppose. Cats, do they? Well, they sleep for so much, don't they? But you... I'd love to be my cat. Yeah, I mean, what a life. They just don't move off our bed. Just live life. on the bed. Then they just go, they just meow when they want a stroke and they get it. Meow when they want food, they get it. It's unbelievable, isn't it? What animal would you pick for each other? Yeah. Oh, go on, you're going to pick something I'm nasty. I'm not going to pick anything nasty. <laughs> don't say hippo, don't say hippo, <laughs> don't say hippo. <laughs> I don't know, what would you think? I mean, what would you, what would you pick for me? Are you, are you going on what you'd look like? Or? I don't know. Maybe let's do spirit. Yeah, like what animal would you be in spirit? I'd have you. I'd have you down as a as a lion, a, a, the leader of our pack. Oh, that's really nice, but not true. No, it is. It is. You are. You. You. You're the leader of our but pack. But they're solitary, aren't they, lions? No, you know they're all they're together, pack, aren't they? Oh yeah, they're like tigers. You know when you have all the all the little cubs, and you'd just be like moving around and telling them off. Mm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Um, a little lion. Cute one, though. They're all cute. Um, I don't know what I'd have you guys. I think people make good meerkats for some reason. Like yeah. an ostrich. Yeah. An ostrich. ostrich. Yeah. yeah, really, like, dim. <laughs> <laughs> They're the, like, one of the least intelligent animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smallest yeah. brains on the planet. Maybe a giraffe. <laughs> and a a bird. fucking fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only bird that can't fly with the minuscule brain. <laughs> Thanks, about, babe. No, I, she called you a lion. <laughs> Maybe you'd be a giraffe. Well, that's the obvious answer, isn't it? It's the elephant in the room. Hey. <laughs> no pun intended. I think or, a dog for you because you're dog. just like happy loyal, and loyal. Happy, and... <laughs> happy and loyal. <laughs> you're saying that as if that's like a bad thing. <laughs> happy, loyal, happy, loyal, and dopey. Easily. Easily pleased. Yeah, easily pleased. Actually People makes, pleaser. Actually makes loads of sense. People pleaser. Mm-hmm. Easily pleased. Yeah. yeah. Loyal, you're saying happy. it's like these are negative qualities. Not, not stressed. No, I'm not saying them like negative you are, qualities. You're, you're, you're looking down your nose at those qualities. I'm not. They're, how happy is our dogs? This is the difference. You know what I mean? Mm. Dogs are incredibly happy. Take me for a walk. I'm, I'm just over the moon. You know what I mean? That's it. Throw you a ball. <laughs> yeah, literally. Throw me a ball. Okay, next one. Okay, um, my question is, uh, have you found the way to do the deed yet without being stared at by the dogs? I think I made a mistake once. What's by, the deed? I, I believe it's sexual intercourse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> by giving my pup a treat after one time as a well done for not trying to get involved. <laughs> and now when we get it on, all I can see is my cockapoo, or should I say... Cock a block, <laughs> just staring back and forth between me and my husband and the treat bag. It's a um, treat. I, I think the deed in front of any animal is totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. Just got to go, just got to go in a room, isn't it, surely? Yeah. Literally, why would you have it in the same room as you? Why? Just put it away. Well, if you it live in a, a studio door. flat. Well, there yeah. must be some sort of door, surely. <laughs> Just put it in the bar. Buy a cage. Shower curtains. <laughs> shower curtains. They're such a passion killer, animals and children. Mm, mm. Certainly are. They are. <laughs> Can't deny it, can you? They're just good. So I trained our cats to live on our bed. <laughs> yeah, they don't move from the bed. <laughs> Baby the cats in here, sorry. Oh, the cats in here. <laughs> Nothing I can do. <laughs> All right. Um, this one's from Anna. Abby, can you come and sing Shallow at our wedding? Yes. <laughs> you can't say yes and not go though. No, the thing with Cheryl, 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 the thing with Shallow is it's unpredictable. <laughs> I don't plan to do it. So I think my. I think if you were booked to, to, come, to sing Shallow at a wedding, I think you'd be mortified. <laughs> but if you were at her wedding and it was midnight, there's no well, way I, you could get, I, get you off. I sang Shallow at Holly's wedding and everyone just stopped, listened, and then turned away when I'd finished. Like. I was I was uh, tapping everyone and going, I was going, you're not going to believe this. It's unbelievable. Oh and then God. so uh, embarrassing. And then you sang it, and then it, uh, everyone seemed to like, just carry on with their night. No <laughs> one even <laughs> bat an eyelid. Uh, uh, totally humiliating. I thought it was great, babe. Oh God, I thought it was great. I right, messaged from Greg. Where do you see yourself in ten years? Good question. It's a weird one, that because 
I don't know where I was. It was up there. You'll be 53. Fuck, that's so... I'll be in my 50s in 10 years. That, that is, is so insane. scary, because mm. then you're basically dead. Mm. Cheers, babe. <laughs> 53, 60, no, life you've over. Got, you've still got, like, what, 53, 63, 70, My friend was telling me about a, a lady. 20 years? 25. A lady who met a guy. So she was 65 and met a, a boyfriend, and they were together for the next 20 years. What? Say that again. She was 65. 65 and met a new boyfriend mm. or 70, 65 or 70. And they were to, both together for the next 20 years. Wow. Which is like the length of mine and Pete's relationship now. But you've kind of, you'd probably think, oh my God, 65. It, you'd never thought you'd meet like the love of your life and have the, And we, how much have we have done in our 20 years? years together. Yeah. And how much have we done in our 20 years? Story. That's amazing. Yeah, it's great. That's what I'm saying. There's so much life left. I would, in 10 years, oh God, I'd probably see myself as a, a grandmother. Mm. It's a grandmother. Yeah. Sophia's 13 now, 23. 23. Friggin' yeah. A bit early that. Do you think? Yeah, a bit early that. 20 years. No, 20 years, yeah. She's <laughs> only 33. 23? No, 10, 20 years. 33 is fine. That's, that's normal now. Yeah. Everything's getting moved back, isn't it? Mm. Well, I'd like to see myself retired, filthy rich, <laughs> with a toy boy. <laughs> <laughs> the honesty's gone too far on this podcast. Yeah. Isn't it? No, I'd like more of the same. I think, oh, I don't know. Where do you see yourself? I don't know. I think just happy. I think slowing down a little bit. Do, I think having more time for ourselves. Yeah. Um, Try and kind of, kind of be doing less. More travel. Uh, mm. bit, a bit more travel. Yeah. More travel would be an ideal scenario. Like if we work, work, work for the next ten years, and then we can just go. You know. And then kind of I, slow I, down a bit, and I think just yeah, just I, I think I'd just slow the pace down a bit. That's what I want to be. I haven't got any goals. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've kind of, you know, things are going great at the moment. Hopefully, we'll continue for as long as possible, and then and then start slowing down in ten years' time and, and try and enjoy. Retirement, maybe. Yeah. I'd like more travel, more horse riding, more dates. Mm. <laughs> Got to wait 10 years to see this. <laughs> Life, though, isn't it? Life's quick paced. I just want to slow it all down, but 53. Um, it might not be. We might not be in that place then. 53. My God. <laughs> what will you be? 48. Yeah. Ugh, we'll be planning yeah. our 50th, my 50th. <laughs> Bono will probably be dead by then. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to sing. <laughs> Option two. Well, yeah, we, we hope not, Bono, but uh, if you're listening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would you rather have arms as long as Mr. Tickle or legs as short as E.T.? That's from Charles. Well, I'm not far off Mr. Tickle. <laughs> my, my mates used to call me Mr. Tickle Did when I was there in the younger year. <laughs> His arms all over the place. That So, yeah, I mean, I'd have arms like Mr. Tickle because I'm basically... I'd rather have long, long arms and short legs. Yeah, I think so. I like a long leg on a man or a woman. Mm. It's also, like, if you have to run away from anything, do you know what I mean? You can't have E.T. legs. But you see the way E.T. walks? Yeah. <laughs> he's not getting away from anything, is he's he? He's got no legs, he's just got feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with well, Mr. Tickle arms, you know what I mean? You just go and reach a drink over there, yeah. like, miles away. It's, it's more useful. They'd have use, yeah, I agree. Yeah, much, yeah, 100% Mr. Tickle. Scratch your own back. Oh, oh yeah. I'm just reaching over, like, miles away. <laughs> um, what are your tips on a happy, long marriage like yours? Oh. Aisha. Any tips? Tips on a happy long marriage. Oh, I think love has to be there. That helps. <laughs> yeah, well, but... if you fucking hate them. It's not going to last very long. Exactly. <laughs> What's a tip? You What's have... that top tip? <laughs> Happiness, laughter. Mm. I think you need support. Mm. You need to be listened to and understood. By your partner, which mm. I'm not sure we've got that. <laughs> mm. um, yeah, no, I, th I think you've got to laugh together. You've got to enjoy each other's company. You've got to want to go out with each other. You've got to want to stay in with each other. You know, you've got to... Staying in's harder than going out for uh, some people. Mm. Yeah, that's what I mean. You I know, think... everyone can have a good time going out. It's when you can't go out and you're in. 
Well, that's when people want to go out on their own. It's like, you know, I'm staying in with you. We don't do anything apart, do we? No. And I think like you'll go important. to golf, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, I know you guys have lived all over uh, and Abby's <laughs> Liverpool knowledge. Uh, any tips on where we should move to? Currently in London with two toddlers and need to relocate back to the northwest for grandparents' help. We can work in Manchester, Salford, Liverpool offices. No idea where to go. I'm from Heighton and I don't want to go back. So they need to move to kind of Manchester, Salford, Cheshire? Cheshire. Yeah, yeah. So we lived in Cheshire, didn't we? And we loved it. I love the countryside. Mm. So even though for, I'm from the city of Liverpool, which I lo I love Liverpool, and we've lived in London, I do prefer being having more nature around okay. me, greenery, space. I think just for clarity, it's nice to nip in and out. So I would recommend for them Cheshire. Yeah. I think there's lovely parts of it, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Macclesfield. I was born in Macclesfield. <laughs> it's very nice, very beautiful place. Um, but all, we lived in Audley Edge, didn't we? Presbury. Yeah. Um, all nice places around there. Nutsford Sorry. Chester is that in Cheshire? Uh, Chester's a lovely place to yeah. live as well. My mate lives up there now. Mm. Um, it's full of history in Chester. Yeah. There's yeah. the Roman ruins. Good shopping. Yeah, well. it's good. I got chased by a squirrel there, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, remember. <laughs> No, you ran away from a script. Yeah. <laughs> it chased me though, but it was running after me. <laughs> but like, it was one of our first dates and I, I legged it from the squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking aggressive squirrels and I was around like, there That's though. my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's the one I want. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of good places. I went to Southport recently, Formby. Uh, played golf up there. Great. That's lovely. Nice around there as well, yeah. So if mm. you're going to Liverpool way, that's, that's a good place to go. Lots of nice places on the outskirts of there. Let's go to Southport with me, Nan. Yeah, same. On the train. Mm. Oh, this giant shoe shop we used to go to. It's amazing. Is it? Yeah. Uh, Ethel Austin. <laughs> 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 All right, apart from a virgin, what does Pete think he would have done if he wasn't a football player? <laughs> hmm. um, he says advertising. But mm. I don't. I can't see you in that role Why? at all. You I can't, can't see me because I've not done that. No, I can't see you in like an office environment. I'd, I'd see you as a tennis player. You think? Mm. Yeah, I said like my dad was in advertising, and I said that like I did enjoy what, like doing that, like the creative side of it, like writing adverts and coming up with ideas. That kind yeah, of. But thing. you wouldn't like the I mundaneness of going into work every day. No, listen, five. I'd rather be out and about. But you know, it's you do what you got to do, haven't you? And I think I'd rather be. Scouts I'd love to have been be a sportsman. <laughs> I'd love to have been a sportsman. Like a tennis player would have been great. I would have loved that. You Tracking are a sportsman? Away. I know, but I was saying, not a footballer. Yeah. yeah. If, I, if, if I couldn't be a footballer, that would be my second favourite option. Pete, would you ever go into managing and how would Abby feel about it? Lauren? I don't think, you, I don't think you'd like me to go into management, would you? Yeah, well, that goes back to long, happy marriage. I think... What works for us is being together. Mm. It doesn't, we don't like it when we're apart. Well, I definitely don't. Yeah. Do you? No. And um, I think I think that would take, I think that would be handy if I hated you. Yeah. Because Should be out the house and. Get away. Uh, like, because the thing is with management, right? It, if you're, you've you got to be, it's very rare for you to stay in one place for a long, long time. Um, and it's a very high um, pressure job. Yeah. And you, you have to start at the bottom. You have to work yeah. your way up. I mean, I could go, I could go absolutely anywhere. I could be in Scotland, you know, could be anywhere in the world, really. Scotland. Uh, no, I'm just thinking like Scotland, like Midlands, Manchester, but I could also be abroad. And like that, you'd have to relocate the whole family, it might only last six months. Yeah. See, I, I don't, that doesn't scare me. Do though. I go on my own? You know what? Yeah. Like this. It's hard uprooting your family all the time. Um, but like the I, I just is... have a completely different view with that on you. I want to be uprooted. I was so desperate for me to get like the call to go to some obscure place like Dallas or... If I went to Falkirk, right, for instance... Where's that? Up in Scotland. Scotland. And then I was the manager of Falkirk. We went up there, we moved to Scotland. Uh, and I think you'd be up for it. But if it lasted three, four months, I got sacked. And then we, so we've moved house, then we have to move house again. And I'd get a job in um, Belgium. And we all got to go over there. Oh, I'd love like, that. But it, it might be two years there, and then we're back in um, Yeah, but Pete, that's not, that's not dissimilar to the life that we had. Yeah, for, but I just think for, now we've got kids. For 15 years. No, it is harder, but it's not the end of the world as long as the family unit is together. You know, it's character building to them. Like, we, where we live now, our kids have been to so many different schools. 
You know, mm. it's, I, I don't I don't see that as a negative. And mm. obviously, I like making a house at home. So the th the thought of moving mm. <clears throat> anywhere in the country or around the world and making a home there and making a life is exciting to me. So you you saying you would actually like me to be manager? No. <laughs> <laughs> These mixed messages. <laughs> I just don't understand them. What was Why that? Why do you then? want to be a manager? No, I'm just saying, like, if you, that you said, the way you were sat, sat, saying there, you said I didn't want to be a manager, but then you said you'd love, be, love us all to move around. No, because you're saying the negative would be the moving and uprooting the family part. Whereas yeah, the, the, I don't find that as a negative. What I find as a negative for the managerial role would be, you know, you wouldn't have as much time with your family and you wouldn't be as present and it would be a lot of stress and pressure. My my issue is I don't think you can ever switch off if you're a manager, ever. I think you just be on your mind constantly and when you're home, you're not really home. You're just, uh, uh, certainly in the early years when you just question everything, am I doing it right? Um, uh, you, you've got to be, you've got to be all in as a manager. I think There's you'd no be a good manager measures. though. I think you'd be a good manager because people... People like you, and I think when when you're mm. liked, mm. people want to do a good job for you. Yeah, good man manager. Yeah, I, th I think I think you would be good in in that sense. But managing, you can't even manage to get three things on a shopping list. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I'll have a good team around me. <laughs> yeah, you'd all be all team, no action. <laughs> <laughs> all team, no knickers. <laughs> <laughs> all team, no knickers. Uh, question for Pete: How far can Pete wallop a driver with a tee box? No weird advantage, advantage, just a straight wallop. Um, what? <laughs> how far can he? Yardage? How many yards? I'm very controlled. I used to be. I used I've to, got no idea what you're talking about. Golf. Oh. It's a lot. I used to hit it a lot further, um, but then I, it was just a bit too wild, so I just took a bit off it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not hitting it really, really far, but like two fifty something like that. Can I just say? If people are listening to this who have got no idea about golf, you've literally just spoke Swahili. Oh, really? That's... Two, you're like 250 yardage. Like, I'm so like, you know are you measuring? Is? Do you know what a yard is? Are you measuring Two, something? Yards like that, right? Like 250 of those. Well, why don't you do it in metres? Or feet? It's yards. It's, it's just yard, yards. yards. It's like we say everything in yards, like football's yards. It's got a six yard box. The, the, the box is 12 yards. I thought it was called the halfway box. The penalty spot is 12 yards. It's an 18 yard box. Cool Every... story, bro. <laughs> you asked. <laughs> you asked me questions and they're ripping me. Ripping you. God. Okay, no more golf questions. Thank you. <laughs> well, that, that wasn't short lived. Mm -hmm. The answer is I don't hit it massively far, but I, I like to be consistent, mm. hopefully, now. Um, how many putts do you usually take on. Uh... You just made that up. <laughs> Uh, all right, last question, okay? And it's a, it's a good one. Uh, would you rather have the face of a pensioner but the body of a 20-year-old? That's what I've got. Or the body of a pensioner and the face of a 20-year-old? What have you got, a face of a pensioner and a body of a 20-year-old? <laughs> no, I've got a you wish. <laughs> face of a pensioner and a body of a pensioner. <laughs> I think you can get away with a face. Like I think men uh, would prefer a, a body old, over if you're a face. a big unit, like, I don't know, I think... You, you can still be kind of... No, it wouldn't thing. be a unit. It would be hanging wrinkly skin all over, wouldn't it? Yeah, if you're a pensioner. But what I'm saying is if you had a body of a 20-year-old and the face... Body of Baywatch face off crime watch, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think men would prefer a good body over a good face. On a woman or for themselves? On a woman. It's a prawn, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would yeah. you rather have a great body and an old face? I think so. Yeah, I think like, I'd Like, if you that. had a decrepit old body... And like a, a beautiful face, I don't think it would really matter. Because you could just, you know, look at Diane Keaton, just put Polar X on. <laughs> Polar X, pants, what, hide, what's, hide what's your Diane old Keaton? body. Because she always wears Polar X. Oh, she? She's got a nice face. Oh, she? Put a bit of a turkey now. What are you saying then? What are you going for? You going for a, for a nice face? Or a, or a 20 year old's body? I don't know. It's just It depends how, how much you're naked, I guess. Mm hmm. Because if you've got a gorgeous face, gorgeous 20-year-old young face, and you could just cover up all your wrinkly body. I don't know. It's, it'd probably be like the surprise of the wrinkly old body for other people. Do you know when you take your kit off? And you're like, <gasps> oh, my God. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, like, is it, you've got a butter's face, but then you have God bod. Everyone would be like, fucking hell. It's weird. It's weird, though, because, like, do you have, like, a turkey neck? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Does it, how far does it go into the body? Like, does the neck include it? 
Because yeah. I say it's everything you can see. So I imagine that'd be all old as well, wouldn't it? Mm. And then you go into like rifling packs. <laughs> Six pack. <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird question, isn't it? What would you prefer me to have? <laughs> that is a tough one. But I think I think I think it's I think it'd be body. I don't I don't know if, I don't know if that sounds like a bit like because I love your beautiful face, obviously. I'm lucky I've got both, but I do think it's body. Because you had a wrinkly old, like, bod. <laughs> I have. <laughs> had a beautiful face. It'd be like, oh, here's a kiss. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you wouldn't want that kiss to go too far, would you? That suits me. Kisses enough, kisses enough. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But then what happens when you're both really kind of old? You know what I mean, I don't think we're not being oldest here, are we? I just think, you know, when we both grow old together, because we love each other, it's still going to be, um, you know... I was thinking of that scene from Sex and the City where Samantha's with the old rich guy and he's like 90 and he gets out of bed and his bum, he's just got no... Like an animal. board. just hanging off his ass <laughs> and his balls are like that long. It's like, a, it's like going to snap the string. You know, that's one thing you need to be careful of, you know. Your mm. bum, mm. losing density. <laughs> right, go. Right, what's the answer to your question? Um... <laughs> I'm going to go young body, old face. I'm going young body, old face. Same. Okay, well, that's Ask Us Anything. Enjoyed that. Great ending. Great ending. Mm -hmm. As yeah. always. Always a, always a cracker. Throws up some great, interesting debates. Mm. It's making me want to go to the gym now, thinking of like how I'm going to... Look in 30 years. <laughs> well, yeah. Not age. <laughs> well, we're, we're going, aren't we? 6.30, baby. Let's do it. All right, we'll catch you Tuesday. <laughs>